So let's say I want to write each of these expressions in terms of just log x. Okay, so at the moment um, I have other forms for this log x here um, and I'm going to use the laws of logarithms in order to simplify them. So let's have a look at the first one, log of x squared. Now I can use the third law here to bring the 2 down to the front. So I can bring the 2 down to the front and then I just have 2 of log x. So I've now written it in terms of log x. So I've got two lots of log x. Okay. Let's have a look at the second one. Log of x to the 5, take away 2 log x. Well, as that 2 came down to the front in the first example, the 5 can come down to the front of this first term here. So we have 5 log x, take away 2 log x. Well, that's just going to leave 3 log x. If I've got five somethings and I take away two somethings, I have three somethings left. Okay, So it works in the same way. Number three, log of the square root of x. Now the square root of x can be written as x to the half. Okay, Using our indices knowledge. Then using the third law, the half can come down to the front. And I'm left with a half log x. Let's try the fourth one. Now, the log of x to the 3 halves, the 3 halves can come down to the front. I've got log of the cube root of x. Now, the cube root of x is x to the third. So the third can come down to the front. So I'd be left with 1 third log x. Now, if I've got 3 halves log x plus 1 third log x, then I need to add the 3 halves and the 1 third together. Okay, now 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, over 6, so that's 11 sixths log x. Let's have a look at number 5. Now the 3 log x is already in terms of log x, so I can leave that one alone. And the 3 here can come down to the front, so I've got 3 log x take, oh, sorry, plus 3 log x. And that would make 6 log x. OK, so that fifth one's quite straightforward. Number 6, remember that root x can be written as x to the half. And then I can deal with the indices here. So that's log of 5 halves, uh, sorry, log of x to the 5 halves. And then the 5 halves can come down to the front. Now, you could equally have brought the 5 down first and then dealt with x to the half and brought the half down. It doesn't matter in which order you'd, you work. You'd still get to 5 halves log x. And that's really how we can unpin and use that third log law here.